Hello guys, the artist OPS here and today I will be showing you a few ways to know um to um, tell how if your LPS if if your LPS is real or fake. Let's begin. So for this video I'll be showing I'll be using this cat and her fake counterpart which looks like this. Now if you've seen some of my earlier videos you've known you'd know that um, I drew on this one. So yeah, that's kind of uh bad but I do have another fake short hair cat. Here's the second fake LPS I own and yes it is my mascot. She's she is fake if you haven't already noticed or haven't already heard me say it like over and over again in my uh earlier videos. So yes let's start comparing from two so we'll start comparing these two together. Um so there are some noticeable differences. One of the major differences would be one of them has mark all over and one of them doesn't. But, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But there are some more subtle differences that you might not notice. For this scene, I'll, dem I'll be demonstrating Jasmine and the real short hair together. If you look very carefully, you can see that Jasmine's eyes, the, uh, um, um, artist, the, uh, <laughs> my mascot, I cannot speak, sorry, um, has, her eyes are not on center, and if you don't get what I mean, the little paint splatter details inside of her eyes are not like symmetrical. They're not side by side, you know. This one, this eye is a little bit lower than this eye. And by the I mean the little paint. And you can't hardly really notice that, but it's theirs. And that's one way to de uh, determine a real piece from a fake old piece, because usually fake old piece have this kind of problem. And I don't usually see any real piece with this problem. Here's an easy way to tell from real fake. Uh, the true test is if their heads are squishy. This one's head is kind of squishy. Yes, I know some fakes might have squishy heads, but um, this one's head is rock solid. It does not squish, it is just hard rock. Um, another test, uh, another way to determine fake from real is if is by looking at the uh, pegs on the inside of the head or the thing that connects the body and the head. So. Uh, yeah, this one's head does come off, and that's kind of handy if you want to, like, do this, but nobody really wants to do this because this is kind of creepy. Anyways, so, as you can see, uh, you know, if you could just get past all the Sharpie, uh, this one has a white peg, and if you look into this one's head, hang on, I'm trying to just zoom in a little bit. Dang, I wish it's so focus. Like, I need you to see this. This one has a peg that is clear and not white. Well, this isn't always the case. Some fake LPS have super swivelly heads, and by swivelly, and by swivelly, I mean this. So if you like, it, so let's imagine you're just trying to make the LPS walk, and like you want to make it turn around, but its head turns around instead of its body. Which, yes, regular LPS tend to do this, but I found that fake LPS are more often, more, like, prone to do it, I guess. Let me show you Jasmine as an example. Um, so, real LPS, on the other hand, their head, you know, if you, like, twist their LPS's head around, it, like, it gets slower, like, it gets kind of, like, you have to put a little bit of effort into it. Like, you know, you can't just, like, just, like, yank it and, like, that you can't just spin this around. No, 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 no. Like, you have to put a little bit of effort into it, you know? Well, with these LPS, with Jasmine, you don't have to put much effort at all. Her head's not swivelly, but her head's kind of loose, I guess you could say. This LPS is, is kind of clear. So, yes, uh, there are some bad fakes and there are some good fakes. Oh, and small uh, reminder, not all fake LPS have white pegs, and not all real LPS have clear pegs. Some real LPS do, in fact, have white pegs. Such include uh, the Husky, some Huskies. Uh, I have a Husky named Icy. Um, I looked at her head like, oh, this is probably real. I see it has a white peg. I'm like, this one definitely is real, though. So, yes, some 
Real Life Pianists do have white pegs. Uh, for what I've seen, it's basically just some, like, that came out, like, right before that came, uh, right before the, um, older, newer ones came out. So, yes, I guess Hasbro had kind of a budget. So, yes, um, before you ask, like, how am I supposed to know if it's going to be a fake OPS before it even arrives? Well, I have some tips for you. So, first of all, it would be to, like, so if you're on eBay and you're trying to find a good OPS, such as, like, a genuine, let's say, Brooke Hayes. I think that's her name. Or that's Savannah Hayes. I don't know. Brooke Fidler. Uh, let's say you're on eBay and you want to find a real Brooke, you know, just to put in your collection to use in videos, you know? And you don't know which ones are real and which ones are not real. So, um, some helpful tips would be to look at the OPS in the picture and, like, determine, is this thing fake or real? Like, fake OPS usually have poor paint jobs, kind of wonky molds. Because one thing I've noticed with this ugly thing, um, uh, oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Some fake OPS have just completely circular holes and not, like, the shape we know for them to have. So if I just bring up, like, she has a hole too. Yeah. Uh, this one, and compare the hole, this one actually has kind of like a... It's kind of a, a hexagon shape. Um, well, this one has a circle and has a, like a hexagon shape inside of it. So yes, it's one more uh, way to determine your real LPS from your fake LPS. And yes, of course, some LPS... Some real LPS do have circular holes, but not many, so that's just a useful tip. And also, it's more common to, for um, fake LPS to have horrible paint jobs, so that's one thing. And sometimes, they're just crappy quality, and you can just tell that they're fake right away. And nobody likes fake LPS, so I'm glad I got the real one, because she's super cute. And way better than the fake, obviously. Sometimes fake OPS would be like kind of like glossier than normal OPS. So if you like look at this one and like if I spin it around, if, it's head, if I spin it head around, you can see that it's really, really shiny. And it's not just so sharp that shiny. Like its forehead right here is like shiny. But if you spin a real OPS around, you won't get the same effect. This one's super glossy. I don't get why. Another way to tell would be to look at the, um, uh, like, writing under, uh, bellies or whatever it is, um, to see how small it is compared to, uh, the fake ones. So this right here is the real OPS. It has a very, very small 2008 Hasbro sign, and if you look at this one, the 2006 Hasbro is huge and takes up half of the belly, while this one only takes up a small space. Eat. Now sometimes uh, there will be LPS lots on eBay, and you'll be like, are these real LPS or fake LPS? Well, for those, there isn't really any determining unless if it shows actual like LPS and not just like any generic stock photo of like a girl laying on top of LPS or like LPS is sort of in a rainbow. So let's say it comes up with like a picture of like random LPS you can like see them kind of from the top. Well, I've seen a picture with a Jack Russell. LPS, um, it's kind of like, uh, I'll research the number and I'll put it in the description, uh, because I, uh, I'm not really familiar with LPS numbers, so, um, so one time I saw a Jack Russell in a lot, it was, like, in a picture on eBay, and it was, it looked, it looked almost just like the real Jack Russells that I'm kind of, like, they kind of, like, based off of, but they're, like, made, like, half of it red and pink, and that's kind of obvious, and, Yes, one more uh, way to tell if it's a, if an LPS is fake or not is if you've actually ever seen his LPS in stores, which would mean like, like or maybe like off colors, such so like, maybe like your fake LPS might have like darker colors than the real one, or it just might even have, might just be like an LPS like short hair cat that's like red and purple and pink, and you'll be like, I haven't ever seen an LPS before. So yes, um, and also if you're looking to buy this LPS cat here, just uh, just remember that this LPS has a variation. Um, the, this one uh, doesn't have a number, or I don't know, its number is just like a puzzle, I guess. Um, so the uh, counterpart to this one has has absolutely no difference, but just has green eyes, nothing else. So yeah, if you want to buy this cat and you see one with green eyes, don't be thinking, oh, that's fake, that's fake, because it's not. 
And uh, again, I'm s uh, well, not again. And I'm sorry for the 10 minute video, but um, I kind of just want to inform you guys on fake OPS and how to tell the difference, you know, like, so the main ways to tell the difference are color, uh, whole shape, pegs, if the head is squishy or not, and the little Hasbro thing on the belly. So yeah, I hope you have a good, uh, whatever it is, day, night, afternoon, etc. And yeah, uh, this is Artist of PS signing out. Woo!